forest and domain functional levels. In most corporate environments, you'll probably find a mixture of different versions of the Windows Server operating system. Some of you will still have a few Windows NT4 servers hanging around. Some of you will be using Windows 2000 or maybe you've upgraded to Windows 2003. And of course, some of you are going to have a mixture of any of those versions. Now, like with any new software that gets released, there'll always be improvements, new features and new requirements needed to support the software. Now, that's where forest and domain functional levels come into play. Since each version of Windows Server introduces new features and improvements, many of these features require all of your domain controllers to be running a certain version of the operating system. And that's understandable since turning on a new feature that might require all your domain controllers to be running Active Directory on Windows Server 2003, for example, will have problems if you still have domain controllers running NT4, which don't even have Active Directory. When we factor in the latest version of Windows Server 2008, we have three forest and three domain levels that are available for us to use. The forest functional levels are Windows 2000, Windows 2003 and Windows 2008. So what does all this mean? Well, in a nutshell, it means that whatever you set the functional forest level to, either Windows 2000, 2003 or 2008, then that's the minimum Windows Server version you can use as your domain controllers in your entire forest. Now, any member servers can be older versions of Windows Server, though. You don't necessarily need to go and upgrade everything, but for your domain controllers, they'll all need to be, at the very least, running at whatever level you set your forest functional level to. So, if you decided to raise the functional level of your forest to Windows 2003, then you'll require every single domain controller in the forest to be Windows 2003. But if you have a Windows 2000 domain controller still active in your forest, you'll be forced to upgrade it to Windows 2003 or of course to Windows 2008 before you'll be able to set the forest functional level to Windows 2003. So what does setting the forest functional level to Windows 2000, 2003 or 2008 even mean? What's the difference between these functional levels and why should I bother upgrading my domain controllers to a later operating system just so I can raise the functional level of my forest? All right, well, here we have a table of the various features that you'll be able to utilize depending on which functional forest level you're running. But to raise the forest functional level, you will need to be a member of the Enterprise Admins group. For example, if you'd like the ability to rename a domain, you'll need to be running your forest functional level at Windows 2003 or Windows 2008. If you're still running, any Windows 2000 domain controllers, then you'll need to upgrade them to at least Windows 2003 if you'd like the ability to rename any domains. Now, I'm not going to go through all of these different features that are available for each functional level, since it'll not only make for a really long and boring video listening to me read out all of these things, and secondly, you should be able to read these just fine. Now, that said, though, another good example here would be deploying a read-only domain controller, which is a new feature of Windows 2008. And in order to be able to create and deploy read-only domain controllers, you'll again need to be running at the least at the Windows 2003 forest functional level. Now, with the release of Windows Server 2008, we don't get any additional features by raising the forest functional level to Windows 2008. Although, if we raise the domain functional level to Windows 2008, there are some new features available which are quite useful. The domain functional levels mirror our forest functional levels in that we can also set them to Windows 2000, 2003 or 2008. But it's important to understand that you can't lower the domain functional level to anything lower than what you have your forest functional level set to. Although a domain can be set higher than the forest, for example, to Windows 2008, but it can't be set lower. So, for example, if we have our forest functional level set to Windows 2003, then we can't set our domain functional level to Windows 2000. Or if the forest functional level is set to Windows 2008, then we can't drop the domain functional level to Windows 2003. It's also important to understand that whilst you might only have one forest, you'll probably have multiple domains. Each of these domains can be set at different functional levels, but of course, 
they'll only be able to be set at equal to or higher than the functional level of the forest. When you install a Windows 2008 domain controller into either a brand new domain or a domain where the functional level is already at Windows 2008, you'll be able to take advantage of some of the newest features available. Firstly, Windows 2008 no longer uses the file replication service to replicate the contents of the sysfol container since it now supports a new distributed file system replication service which uses RDC or Remote Differential Compression that allows for replication of differences in a file. Now this means that we no longer have to replicate a full file when only a small part of it might have changed and this saves both bandwidth and time since only bits of the file now need to be replicated. Windows 2008 also supports the advanced encryption standard for Kerberos, the ability to capture when the last time a user logged on to a particular workstation and how many failed attempts a user had trying to log in, and it also supports fine-grained password policies. You see, back in Windows 2000 and 2003, when we configured password and account lockout policies, you could only have one per domain. So if you wanted to have different settings for different people, you'd either need to create password filters or have entirely separate domains, both options being a real pain. Now, in Windows 2008, we can now create password settings objects, or PSOs, and apply these PSOs to groups, so each group can have different settings. And this is something that we'll talk about in another video. Now, before we finish up on the theoretical aspects of functional levels, I'd like to reiterate that when you raise the functional level of either the domain or the forest to a certain level, and let's use Windows 2003 as the example here, then you're no longer able to add any pre-Windows 2003 domain controllers to your domain. But hey, that's all fine by me. I'd personally much rather have a network of Windows 2003 or Windows 2008 domain controllers myself, but the reality is that most of you listening won't have the luxury of building a bunch of domain controllers from scratch. Instead, it's more likely that you'll already have Windows 2000 and Windows 2003 domain controllers, and then you'll gradually migrate to the more favorable Windows 2008 in order to take advantage of some of the new features. But that's okay. When it comes time to start upgrading your domain controllers, you'll phase out the old ones and start replacing them with new Windows 2008 servers in due time. Now once they're all Windows 2008, you can then raise both the functional level of the domain and the forest to Windows 2008. Okay, so let's now look at how we can change the functional level of the forest and the domain. And we'll do this from the Active Directory Domains and Trust Console. So we'll click on Start, we'll go to Administrative Tools, and up the top we'll choose Active Directory Domains and Trusts. And Let's take a look at how we can raise the functional level of the domain first. So we'll come over here to the left, we'll expand winstructorlab.com, and you can see here I do have three domains, the parent domain, as well as a London and New York domain. So let's say we've upgraded all of our domain controllers to Windows 2008 in New York. So to raise the functional level of the New York domain, we'll right click on it and we'll choose raise domain functional level. You can see here that it's currently set to Windows Server 2003. So our only option is to go higher to Windows Server 2008. So to raise the functional level to Windows 2008, we'll click on the Raise button. Now, do take note of the warning message we get here, as once we click on OK and raise the functional level of this domain, we'll no longer be able to introduce any older versions of Windows, including Windows 2003 and earlier, into this domain. So if you're absolutely certain that you'll never need to have a Windows 2003 or earlier domain controller in this domain ever again, we'll click on OK. And our functional level is now Windows 2008. And this will now be replicated to any other domain controller we have in the New York domain. So we only need to raise the level once per domain and all other domain controllers, which will now need to be Windows 2008 domain controllers, will all be governed by our domain functional level. Now, if we want to raise our other domains from Windows 2003 to Windows 2008, we'll follow exactly the same process. We'll right click on London. We'll choose raise domain functional level. We're again running in Windows Server 2003 mode. So 
If we want to raise the functional level to Windows Server 2008, we'll click on the Raise button. Are we sure we want to do this? Yes, we are. And it's done. Now, finally, we'll right click on Winstructor Lab and we'll choose Raise Domain Functional Level again. As before, we only have one option to go to Windows Server 2008. So we'll go and click on the Raise button. Are we sure? Yes, we are. And it's done. So now all of our domains are running at the functional level of Windows 2008. And this also means that we no longer can have Windows 2003 or earlier versions of Windows Server running as domain controllers in these domains. Now, if we want to change the functional level of the forest, we'll right click on Active Directory Domains and Trust at the top here, and we'll choose Raise Forest Functional Level. You'll note that again, we're currently running the forest functional level at Windows Server 2003. So we can only change to a higher functional level. We can't go backwards. So Windows 2008 is our only option here. So if we want to raise the functional level of our forest to Windows Server 2008, we'll click Raise. Again, we'll get a warning message. This time it's telling us that it'll affect the entire forest. So we'll click on OK. We'll get our confirmation message that the functional level was raised accordingly. Again, these changes will replicate to the rest of our domain controllers in our forest. Now, even though we've raised our functional levels of our forest and domains to Windows 2008, it's important to remember that we can still use our Windows NT, our 2000 and 2003 servers as member servers though. And of course, we can still use our client operating systems like Windows NT, 2000, XP and Windows Vista. So don't forget, these functional levels only affect the domain controllers themselves. In this video, we've talked about the different functional levels we have with Windows 2008. And recall that we have three forest functional levels and three domain functional levels. When we raise a functional level, at that point you'll get the new features that are available with the new functional level, but that will prevent you from using any older versions of the Windows Server operating system as domain controllers. So remember, once you change either a domain or a forest functional level, you're stuck there with that decision, so make sure you truly want to make that change as you can't go back should you decide to change your mind. We hope you enjoyed this 